Hi guys, um, how's it going? Uh, in the last video we had a look about uh, we, had, we found one of the bugs that where we try to update this uh, date we don't see the date picker uh, presented to us so in this video we'll try to fix those that, that and also when we try to update a record it doesn't stay um, intact for us to be able to see the confirmation it just goes away sorry about this um, uh, barking noise uh, something wrong with him something wrong with the dog sorry about that all right so what happened was that when I was scripting uh, Ajax requests uh, which is in the all.js file which you have you guys have downloaded from the link in the description um, source code is hosted on github and so I made a mistake there that if we try to go back to our code and I'll show you what happened so in the code if you look at um, let's let's go to the home um, this is the home um, uh, dot blade which uses and which uses the model window under edit projects which is under resources views pages and the projects folder has models we have a create model and we have an edit model now what happened was if I open projects um, it uses a partial forms dot project which is forms dot project and also the edit edit one here uses forms dot edit dot project so basically these two files and if you open any of them you will notice I'm using an ID and also in this file I used an ID by mistake on the same page so our home dot blade has two uh, different set of partials and when the page loads uh, the, the basically the script targets the the ID in the first block when it encounters so of course it's not going to identify this as a unique identifier so what we have to do um, instead is get rid of this ID and add a class date picker to fix this this is fixed and then in here we'll do the same thing um, so a class can be used as many time possible on the same page as we know and an ID can be used of course I made a mistake there sorry about that I must have done that in hurry now uh, in order to target the right selector um, this all.js previously if you guys have downloaded uh, prior to the, the the date of this video then I request you to please go ahead uh, and click the link uh, in in my U YouTube video. You can click uh, the link in any of the video videos. It'll take you to the latest repository, which which I have already updated. So I've already committed this fix. Um, just go and download uh, these two files here. Uh, download this one or this one, or you can just copy and paste both of them uh, map and the JS and that will fix the the problem you don't need to download the whole thing you may get rid of the all the work we've done so far in the views so by mistake don't override the whole directory it may it may uh, undo the all the all the code you've written in the views so um, you can copy everything here and just go back to your um, all.js and just control a and paste everything here and um, I'm gonna go and do the same thing I'm gonna click here maybe where is it I'm gonna go raw and that will get rid of all the formatting and just present me with the code and control a control C and go back here and then just control a control V and save get rid of this and then same thing I'm gonna do with the the map and go back um, sometimes when we're working on different things um, mistakes happen but that's okay as long as we can fix them uh, that's fine and it's taking a little bit time and open this
oops just control a control c and um just go back and open the browser and then control a control v taking a bit on sorry about that so that's one thing another thing is um when we were updating the record for example when we were updating the record say it goes away the confirmation but after you have loaded the new js it will stay there just like you know the way you saw because we had we have already updated the js file and every time i close this window it's going to refresh the browser and if i click in the date picker it should be working as well which it is so sorry about that little bit of mistake but we managed to fix it so if you're starting your project from today the, from the date of the video the file is current you don't need to worry you you can just test it out but if you if you have been working with me uh, for the past two weeks yeah you may have to download the latest uh, js file sorry about that inconvenience if you download this it has that fix uh, that bit of code that will stop this window from hiding uh, when you sum when the submit button is clicked and also this date picker instead of using an id I, i'm targeting the class and make sure to update um, the in the forms dot project forms uh, dot project and forms edit dot project make sure to remove the id and, and add this date picker selector class and it should be working so that fixes what we discovered in the last video so we will be able to select a date picker after this fix and we can add it uh, the date and also when we run the update method it'll, it'll display a confirmation and wait for us to close this so sorry about that and again um, in the next video we'll continue um, building this application and it's really exciting we'll be writing the show method for our projects so we can, when we click on this uh, project name it will take us inside the description of this project and also display the relative tasks so we'll be working a little bit on to uh, tasks controller and uh, nesting the task controller inside the project's uh, route uh, so there will be a bit of uh, nested routing going on and of course some show method and hopefully we can add a button here to, if we want to delete or we can come back to that later that's not a big problem so sorry about that again and thank you very much and make sure to hit some likes and comments i'll see you in the next video have a nice day